Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's review is about this pen. I did the unboxing video uh, some days ago and this pen was sent to us by Diplomat for review purposes. Uh, this is a very nice pen. We contacted them just to know if they wanted to cooperate with the blog and they sent it to us free of charge and as a gift for review and to do whatever we want. Um, I have to say I already reviewed this pen, the Diplomat Aero, um, some time ago. It was sent uh, to me by Apple Boom uh, as a loan just to test it and then I sent it back. It was the Diplomat Aero um, matte silver and this one is the other finish, the factory. It has some other improvements then I will, uh, of which I will talk uh, right away. But let's see the pen. So first of all we have this nice diplomat box. It, has, it is a cardboard box with the diplomat logo since 1922 it has here half of the logo and the other side is the other half. We open the flap here and we take out this uh, aluminum box. This is a, a nice and strange box. Uh, it, it has a very nice look but it is strange because the top part is very robust. It is made of aluminum and this is just printed in the aluminum, very, very nice, very satin finish, very beautiful. But the underside is a cardboard box, uh, but it's nice. This slides off and we have the access to the cardboard box. Then we have this flap of paper with the Diplomat logo. And then we finally have the pen uh, over these, this bed that has also uh, the, the logo repeated several times in it. Very nice. Under the pen bed, let me see if I can grab this little fabric flap, we have two ink cartridges and a booklet with instructions and information. So let's put the pen bed back on and take the pen out to see how it looks. So with all the paper and boxes out of the way, let's see the pen. The pen has um, has the same shape as the other arrow. It's exactly the same pen on the outside. Um, it has these. It is its name arrow because it is inspired in the, the aeroplane. You can't call it a plane, but in the the arrow ship that was the Zeppelin. Uh, it has this kind of shape with these nice grooves along the 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 pen. This pen is quite hard to show because of the strong light that I have here on the side. Um, it, it becomes, a, it is very, very bright. The, the pen in the outside is made of untreated aluminum. The other one I tested, the matte silver, was had an anodized finish made of, um, with a, a matte color, with a, a silver color and matte finish. I'll try to put some shadow in it with my hand just to see the grooves going around all around the pen, the body and the cap. Very nice. It has diplomat hatched here and in the other side Germany. Very, very beautiful pen. Um, on the top of the cap in this on this finial I'll try to focus this. We have the Diplomat logo there. We have this clip, which is also aluminum, but an, a black anodized aluminum. 
very nice, very strong, easy to use although, and we have this black tip of the, the barrel. This is a very, very nice pen. Um, I believe, I, at least it happens to me, I like to touch it, I like to feel the, the, these grooves and this texture, and this is all made of raw aluminum. So, I believe these may get a little bit stained, a little bit scratched over the use, but now it's just beautiful and very shiny. Uh, the cap opens by just pulling, but this is what is the difference, main difference between this pen and the, the, the other one that I reviewed. The other one was very hard to open, this one is very very smooth. Um, as far as I know, they may have changed the, the, the closure of the cap. This one is much smoother, the other one you had to push hard with two hands. I didn't use it for long enough to, to, to the click mechanism to wear off, but this one is quite nice and I feel it's a great pen since the beginning. So, you uncap the pen and you have a section also made of aluminum, a black anodized matte finish aluminum, very nice, and you have a beautiful nib. I, I, I really like the design of this nib. The nib has no breather hole, but it has the same logo of Diplomat and says Diplomat since 1922 and it is an F nib. It has no breather hole, but it is a beautiful big nib. Just beautiful. The feed, it looks like a regular feed. And then you can unscrew the barrel to get to the, the filling system. And this pen fills um, by cartridge or converter, international cartridge or international converter. And even the converter, you can see because of the ink, has diplomat printed on the, on the side. Very nice. This pen is very, very sturdy. It is an all metal pen, so you, you can't break it but I think it may get scratched and with signs of use, but it gives it some personality. I really love this pen, very, very nice, quite heavy, but not too much heavy. About the use, you can use it and post it. It is long enough, but if you want, you may post it. It posts quite deeply. It gets a little bit top heavy, but not too much. You can use it perfectly like that. It depends on your preference. I, as almost always, prefer to use the pen, the cap, in my left hand when I write. And I usually write with my right hand, so uh, that's the way I, I like to use these pens, not posting them. Uh, just for comparison, I, I want to, to show it uh, next to two other pens. One is the Parker Default, which is a pen that I like to compare others with. And as you can see, it has the same size. And the other one, because it has a more uh, approximate sh shape, is the uh, Sailor 1911L, and it is the same size and almost the same shape. This is a very nice design, very nice, um, very nice finish. Uh, I really like it. And you feel like steampunk themes. I think this pen is the right pen for you. So now let's make just a writing test to show how this pen writes. So here we have the paper and we have the pen. The paper is a Rhodia dot pad. The pen is the Diplomat Aero Factory. Okay, the pen skipped there, but it didn't skip. I just uh, didn't make enough pressure. I, I was enough pressure. I was writing um, too lightly, and 
the nib of this pen is an F nib and the ink is diamine or diamine oxblood. About the nib, this nib is just great. It makes some noise on the paper, but it has no feedback. It writes perfectly. It has a wide range of sweet spots to write. Um, you can have some line variation. It's not a flex nib. It's hard, but there's some line variation and it writes beautifully. It puts down a wonderful amount of ink. I really, really like the way this pen writes. It's not because it was given to me by Diplomat. I already reviewed this pen and I already liked the, the nib, although I liked even more this finish. The nib is great. This nib, um, I asked the, the, the brand, it is made by Jovo, Jovo but the nib, um, the, the, the feed is designed with Diplomat and they say the, the secret is the, the, the combination of this nib and this feed that is specially designed and it delivers the right amount of ink. It doesn't matter how fast you write. It's really, really, really a nice pen. Um, it is heavy. Uh, you can get it with a steel nib or a gold nib. This one with a steel nib is around 160 euros. Not that cheap for a steel nib pen, but not expensive at all. And you have one of the best writing experience you can have with a pen, in my opinion, because I don't prefer flex nibs. I don't uh, like very thick lines. This is a great nib for me. And um, I really love, love this pen and this finish is quite beautiful. Okay, that's enough to, to say good things about the pen. Um, I don't find any big um, defect. The only one that I wish it was better was the, the posting. It posts and posts securely and deeply. This won't fall off, but because of its shape, it doesn't always post the same way. As you can see, it can wobble from side to side and up and down. So I would prefer this would fit in just one place. This is the only defect I can find in this pen and it is nothing important at all. Mostly because I don't even post the pen when I'm writing. So thank you so much Diplomat for sending this pen that I really that I already knew about, but this new finish is very beautiful and the new closing system is very good. I also want to thank you all to our uh, subscribers and to all other viewers for watching our YouTube channel. If you like, please subscribe and keep following us here on YouTube and also in our blog and see you next time. Bye.